Hi, so I wanted to uh, show you something cool. Um, so I bought this coffee machine um, off of Craigslist. It's a Francis Francis Y1. It's made for Ely. And um, as you can see, it's not like any coffee machine I think you've probably seen before. So um, it's a nice red top to it. Um, it's got an espresso head. It makes espresso coffee. Uh, has a water tank just down here. You can pull out and fill with water. And um, it takes uh, pods, uh, special pods, uh, but you can also buy refillable uh, pods that you can use and that's what I'm going to do with it. Um, as you can see, when it's asleep, it's just flashing this little light here. When you turn it on, it's warming up now. That's what the flashing means. And um, I, uh, the guy had it f uh, for sale for thirty-five dollars, uh, and I offered him twenty-five because I thought it was cool, but. I suspected because of the price that it don't work. So you push the button and nothing comes out. So uh, this is going to be my next fix it project. Let's try and figure out what the hell's going on here um, and try and fix these things. So I'm guessing that it's he's been just using normal tap water through it and so it's all scaled up inside. Um, so we're going to have to pull it all apart and figure out what's going on. Okay. Okay, so I've uh, flipped it over. Uh, taken out all the serenary units like the, uh, like the pod holder where the coffee cup sits on and the little tray for it. And also the water tank. And um, I've removed a couple of screws. There was a large screw in here and then three little screws uh, in here and um, I'm assuming that there's probably something hidden underneath here um, and here and here so we're going to try and have a look at that now actually in fact there's some uh, screws deep screws in these uh, these holes here that you need to remove so uh, I'd remove those first Okay, so I've um, undid the screws, and what happens is that the the top now comes off. See, okay, and uh, so this is the control board for the the buttons, the little lever that comes around. Um, I'm guessing that this is the pump or the water heater, um, probably a combination of two. And then these are the pipes from the uh, water tank that go in. Um, so I'm going to have a hunt around and see what I can figure out. Okay. Um, so what I've done is I've got it now open. Um, so I've opened up the top cover. Uh, as you can see, it's flashing away now, getting ready to heat. Uh, I've refilled the tank. Um, and I'm going to have another go to see if I can see anything when I uh, operate it. Oh, there we go. It's telling me that everything's hunky-dory. Uh, one thing I would suggest is when you open this up, just put it on something so you're not putting any strain on this ribbon cable. Okay, okay so let's give it a go. You can see the pump seems to be working, but it's not sucking any water at that all. Nothing is being sucked up there. And um, I'm just wondering if these O rings might be too warm and so you're not getting a great seal. But it obviously sucks for a vacuum. 
and it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Um, I mean, the other thing I could try and do is to prime the pump um, somehow, but um, I'm not sure how to do that yet. Okay. Um, well, unfortunately, I uh, got the thing working, uh, but I didn't take a video of what I did. But uh, let me explain what happened. Was there was no water? Although the pump was running, there was no water going into the pump. Um, so what I did was I mixed up some water and cleaning vinegar, and uh, put a solution of that into the uh, tank. And I also used a uh, syringe to syringe some of this water and vinegar solution into the uh, into these pipes. Uh, then uh, what else I did was I removed this clamp here. Uh, so the, the water comes in through here, goes into the pump, then out round the, uh, the pipe and is into this heating element. So the, um, uh, when I undid this uh, clamp here, took the pipe off, uh, I put it into a cup, nothing was coming out. Um, I ran it a couple of times. Uh, I squeezed the, uh, the hose clamps a couple of times to try and get the vinegar solution through there to try and prime the pump. And after a little while, I managed to get it to work. So I got water coming out of uh, this pipe here. Um, so now what I've done is that I've just connected it bowel back up, um, put some, uh, uh, some cable clamps uh, onto the pipe. And now, as you can see, when I hit the button, I've got solution coming out of there. Okay. So I'm gonna do this a couple of times just to descale. Um, the whole thing and uh, then I'll just run um, some um, deionized water through it uh, just to make sure that everything's nice and clean put it all back together and then I'll show you the results uh, of me making hopefully a very nice cup of coffee Okay, so now what I've done is I've put the three small screws back in here, uh, this large screw back in, and there's three screws, one, two, three, that go in here. So, um, so this is now all screwed back together. So um, now I'm going to put it the right way up, flush it with some distilled water. I've got some distilled water over here and um, once uh, the water tastes reasonably good what I'm going to do is make myself a cup of coffee okay so everything's back together and um, I am going to make myself my first cup of coffee so it's all heated up for short and long I've got my cups on the heater plate just heating up uh, warming up a little bit I've uh, filled one of my reusable pods with uh, coffee. Um, coffee Bustello. I didn't have any Ely, but this is pretty good. And that just goes into, uh, into the top like that. And then it just clamps down. And um, then you get your coffee cup, put it underneath. And let's give it a shot. I can notice what it will do is it will stop if it doesn't get if it's not hot enough. So it will do a little bit, warm up, and then do the rest of it. Okay, let's try it. Oh my god, it's perfect. Oh, that's nice. Oh, 
That's very, very nice. Maybe a little bit more water than I would like in my coffee. I'd like them a little bit more restricted, you know. Um, but uh, pretty good cup of coffee. Very, very nice. Very, very strong. Excellent for mornings. Mm. <coughs> Delicious.